Now, was she flying or was she falling with style? Kind of hard to tell. With that being said, I will be reviewing Wonder Woman 1984. So, Wonder Woman 1984 is an adventure slash action movie that came out December 25th, 2020. So, Diana Prince been living a quiet life among us mortals in the 1980s. And this is the era of excess and the pursuit of having it all. So Diana Prince have come into her full powers, but she maintains a low profile by curating ancient artifacts and performing heroic acts incognito. But soon Diana has to muster all her strength, wisdom, and courage to go against Maxwell Lord and the Cheetah. A villainess that possesses superhuman strength and agility. That's pretty much the breakdown of this movie. I'm going to start off by saying that this movie is good, but it could have been better. It's like it exceeded my expectations in some parts. In other parts, it didn't. The parts that exceeded my expectations was the scenes and the shots and the actions. Like, this movie has a lot of great scenes in it. They really did their job well with it. And the action was great. It kept me entertained. It kept me involved in the moment. And it's always good to watch Wonder Woman let loose. I was never disappointed about that. She really was the best thing about this movie, even though it had other elements. Her interactions with everyone was genuine. The chemistry was there. And I enjoyed watching her saving people, connecting, talking, and opening up about herself. And it was good seeing her reconnect with her old boyfriend. I think the movie did an excellent job justifying why he was alive, and it made sense that he was there. And I love the chemistry amongst Diana and Steve. It really had you emotionally invested into their love story. And they didn't go over the top with it. It was balanced quite well. But what I didn't like about the movie was the villains. Their motives was cartoonish, unreliable. It just didn't seem right. How they interacted and carried themselves made me feel like I was watching the movie. Like the villains could have been better and could have had legit motives. And their fight scene with the cheetah could have been better lit. A different choicing of lighting would have made it pop out. And some of the things that happened didn't make sense. Like how Steve was able to drive a car so good and fly a plane so well that he never flew. And was Diana flying, gliding, or swinging through the air? It kind of seemed like she was doing all three. Really hard to tell. But other than that, I really enjoyed the movie. So have you seen Wonder Woman 1984? Tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on all my social media. And have a blessed day.